Hello and welcome to Top10List.org, where you get a world of knowledge in just 10 simple points. And on our topic today, we're going to discuss the ways to avoid unwanted attention in a social event. I tend to be an extroverted person, so when I go to these events, I like to stand out and speak to people and tend to be very social. If you're very introverted, these tips will help you out. Starting at number 10, make your outfit blend in. Every social event requires a certain appeal in one's outfit that must come into picture only once in a while. It is now in fact culture to look as exquisite as possible for any gathering. However, an outfit does not necessarily have to be an attention grabber in order to make you look stunning. Once you know where you are going to be and the kind of crowd that is going to be present at the event, it is better to choose outfits that complement you as well as do not call for excessive attention from random people. At number 9, don't be loud. Any social event requires conversations and interactions and one begins to socialize and gets at ease very easily. However, making your present obvious by talking or behaving loudly is not a spectacular thought. You do not have to bore yourself by staying as hush and quiet in a corner as possible, but keeping a note of your volume is suggested even when you are talking to your acquaintances. Similarly, every natural action, like slipping or spilling liquid, comes into notice of all sorts of people. One does not have to become overconscious so as to keep noticing his or her activities and appeal in the crowd. Number 8. Kick it with the ones you know. Since people you are not acquainted with are going to be present in the gathering, it's safer to speak only to those that you familiarize yourself with. Socializing with random people goes strictly against the attempts of avoiding attention and instead might aid in making you the center of attention. Interaction should be limited as much as possible to those who you are comfortable with and only for the duration in which they do not get a chance to introduce you to company unknown to you. Number seven, act confidently. The act of keeping conscious of your actions in an event is very simple in theory, but yet it can clog up your mind in implementation. You might start feeling uneasy and not being able to socialize genuinely. However, there is no need to feel out of place. It has to be remembered here that confidence is key to pulling the tricks off. One cannot look like they are at all trying to dodge the unwanted attention, and blending in would aid in circumventing it. If one starts trying too hard, he becomes a probable target of which you're trying to avoid. Number six, do what they expect. People who approach a person themselves in social gatherings usually have the same reason to do so if not randomly. They notice something unique or surprising. When the probing eyes fall on someone looking or behaving in an unexpected manner, they feel the need to approach and explore. This makes it essential for people to look as common as possible in the gathering they are present at in order to fool the crowd. Blend in with the crowd, blend in with the attire, use wise uh, counsel and action as well. Doing what everyone else does and keeping your low profile as low as possible is very necessary. Number five, keep changing your position. A major giveaway when one is attempting to stay low profile can be the idea that people often mistakenly think of as an assistive trick. Picking out a supposedly discreet corner in the gathering and adhering to it like a fly on flypaper. They believe that the lesser they get displaced, the easier it would be to stay hidden from most of the eyes. However, it actually helps in making them more noticeable as it makes them seem oddly interesting, thus defeating the purpose. Keep moving around instead of sticking to a corner. Not moving unlike the rest actually makes us very easy targets and often people tend to approach merely because they take note of your stillness. Number four, don't talk to everyone but don't isolate yourself. As already pointed out, it is important to confine yourself from interacting with everyone. Though it is strongly advised to stay as strict as possible, it is also pointed out that restriction is not equivalent to isolation. Separating oneself from the very act of communicating in a social event highlights a lack of confidence which pulls attention on you. It is assumed that you must be in a low mood or uncertain of approaching others and in this manner people might begin to approach you themselves so as to help you have a better time. In order to avoid such a circumstance, do not keep yourself absolutely cut off from the crowd around you and interact with your known acquaintances. Number three, hang in groups. It is human nature to approach and interact with the individuals who are not busy talking to others elsewhere. 
Stability is not at all questioned, and if it is approached, I mean, there's not much difference that can be made. This theory is the reason why sticking in groups of people can improve to be much more helpful than any other method, as it keeps attention from falling on you, per se. Number two, avoid eye contact. Now, this is weird to do, but if you're not trying to get noticed, it helps. Avoid the chance of looking anyone in their eyes while passing, or looking around ensures that no one is directed your way. Also, if the damage is done, even after all the precautions you took to avoid the inevitable, and you've got someone's intention, not all hopes are lost. The control on the impairment can be made by avoiding eye contact with that person. Eyes are rightly called the windows to the soul, and once an eye contact is made, there is no escaping from interaction at that point. At number one, ignore or look uninterested to those who approach. I've done this before and it works. Curiosity kills the cat. It also makes you vulnerable to the attention that you're dearly trying to avoid and you keep running into. Enjoy the event as much as you can, but make sure you ignore the crowd of strangers around you. Even as the slightest hint of interest from your side can usually drive someone's attention to you. Relax. Have a good time and talk to everyone you know. But do not lose yourself due to the easy mood. Do not pay any mind to anybody unknown who tries to approach you. These few pointers will certainly help you have a hassle-free time. Well, that's it. If you are looking for ways to avoid unwanted attention at a social event, these are the tips that will help you how. And if you've went to your event and these tips managed to help you out a lot, be sure to give us a like and click that subscribe button to join us again for another edition of Top 10.